My name is Angela Johnson. I live in Rutledge, Missouri with my two daughters, Prairie and Karina. They are 15 and 13. And my body type story, actually it starts in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. That's where I was born and raised. That's where the girls were born and raised up until recently. Um, it starts seven years ago, um, April of 2011. That is when I first heard about body talk. Uh, my best friend was trying to play actually romantic matchmaker for her single mom friend um, and introduced me to, to a friend of hers from out in Rapid City who was visiting his parents in Sioux Falls and visiting friends there. And she didn't know this, but he had just taken his first body talk class. Um, he was like two to three weeks out of his first body talk fundamentals class and was looking for people to do practice sessions on. And he didn't know this, but I had been struggling with like debilitating back pain pretty much ruled my life for the last 11 years. Um, my initial injury was back in uh, when I was age 19. Um, since that injury, like I could no longer run, I could walk and I could swim. I mean, by the time I had kids, um, not only would running put my back into extreme like debilitating spasm, but now by the time I had kids, like things like putting the car seat in the car, I was at risk for spasming. Um, oh my gosh, like even just doing my own car seat buckle. In fact, by 2008, um, I had gone through like rounds of physical therapy. Um, I was in and out of the chiropractic office like every week, literally. My pain level was like five to six on a typical day. And then when I would go into a, my back would tweak and go into a spasm a couple of times, at least two to three times a month, um, my pain level would go up to like eight or nine. I mean, I'd be flat on the floor, legs elevated, you know, on a chair, the girls would be like bringing me apple slices. Like this is no way to live. And in fact, in 2008, I actually maxed out my chiropractic visits. So I no longer had any covered and by the end of the year. And I, my financial stress, <laughs> like, I couldn't afford over-the-counter medication, much less like pay out of pocket for any sort of health care. Um, and so I was actually on kind of this desperate search. Um, I was like, what causes my low back pain, you know? And so, yeah, I was still doing my exercises that I had learned from the physical therapist and from the chiropractor. But now I also started like researching, okay, there's inflammation. So I started implementing anti-inflammatory diets for myself. And then the link between stress and low back pain, uh, you know, so I'm working on like different meditation techniques, you know, chakra meditation techniques, gratitude journaling, affirmations. I found yoga, but I couldn't do any sort of twisting or like forward bending. But I found Anusara Yoga. It's a school that allows for a lot of, you know, like <laughs> extreme modification, like chair yoga poses. Um, so basically between 2008 and 2011, when I first met Luke, um, I had figured out a way to <laughs> keep my pain level at like two to four on a scale of zero to 10, and space out my chiropractic treatments by about two weeks. If and only if I had this whole 90 minute to two hour block of time every morning where I would do this whole sequence of modified yoga poses, um, gratitude journaling, deep relaxation exercises, um, yeah. <laughs> and do the anti-inflammatory diet. And then like later on in the afternoon, I would take a little bit of time to do, you know, some of the physical therapy and chiropractic exercise I'd learned as well as also doing herbal, you know, herbal things for the adrenal glands, you know, drinking nettle tea and things like that. Um, and as long as I did that routine every single day, I could space out the chiropractic appointments, like I said, like by about two weeks and keep my pain level at two to four. If I missed a single day, my pain level would be five by the end of the day. If I missed two days in a row, um, my pain would be like five to six and I was at risk for something tweaking my back. If I missed three days in a row, I could guarantee that I would be having some sort of a back spasm, whether it's like walking up the stairs, putting groceries in, you know, the bottom shelf of the fridge or something, anything. But by three days, I would be in the chiropractic office with eight to nine level pain, you know, debilitating spasms. So by the time I met Luke, I had pretty well like that routine and my new lifestyle changes were like imperative if I, you know, was going to not run out of chiropractic visits by the end of the year. And so in, when he wanted to do the practice sessions, he's just like, yeah, you know, the system I learned, it was developed by an Australian doctor and we work with the body's ability to heal itself. Um, I'm not going to be working with an agenda. I just need bodies to practice on because what we use is subtle biofeedback muscle checking to ask the body questions, you know, about its communication patterns. So basically what we're doing is we're going to be finding using and he showed us his chart showed us his manual he's like basically i'm going to be finding the needles in the haystack within you know all the frequencies of the body mind that are trying to repair their communication circuits together and so i'm using yes no biofeedback to locate these areas i'm going to use my hands and your hands kind of like flashlights when we find these areas 
to set up, you know, a new blueprint, like a new electrical kind of field blueprint with our awareness and our hands as focusing tools. And then we're going to tap in that new blueprint. And we're like, tap it in. Interesting. You know, he's like, yes, you'll feel me tapping over your head and tapping over your heart. Now in Body Talk, we also tap over the enteric gut brain for a deeper level of like that visceral awareness of deep digestion and integration. But at that time it was just head and heart and the head he talked about, you know, we're like, why are you tapping our heads and hearts? You know? And he just said, he just said, you don't you remember like, you know, high school science class, we would use, you know, um, a big magnet, a piece of paper over the magnet. We poured iron filings on the piece of paper and we tapped in the piece of paper and we're like, yeah, we remember that experiment. And then the iron filings would move and, you know, surround the magnet. Right. And he's like, yeah. So matter, follows energy because we would move that you know magnet over and keep tapping the paper and the iron filings would move with the magnet so the body is no different our molecules are like those iron filings and the tapping process is just initiating changes and overcoming that inertia for the for the system to shift and change into a new blueprint we're like hmm that's really interesting you know we're just a little bit skeptical but whatever um so anyway I'm like, you can talk to my body. <laughs> um, so he had no idea any of my issues. Um, and he's, you know, doing the session. He's got his book out, you know, finding the needles in the haystack, you know, finding, you know, where to put the hands and then finding the techniques in the book. You know, I remember him putting water in my navel, sticky notes on my throat, sticky notes on my belly button. I remember him having me hold my gallbladder. And he's like oriented to age 19 and anger. That was when I had my back injury. Um, and he's tapping out the formulas. And um, I didn't think much of it until like that night when I was going to sleep and I'm getting situated. And usually I had to like have my pillows situated, like stacked up and between my knees and under my knees and all these things to like get comfortable. I'm like, whoa, um, my back doesn't hurt at all. And it's usually like level two to level four in the best position possible. And there was zero pain. And I tried to like find it, <laughs> you know, like by going into weird positions to find, I couldn't even find it. Like this is really interesting. Three days later, still no pain. I'm still doing my yoga sequence in the morning, my modified yoga poses and everything, but still no pain. And I'm like, okay, I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna jinx this, you know? My daughter ends up with this nasty migraine. It actually lasted like, it was going over 36 hours where I was having, my younger daughter who was six at the time, I was having to carry her from like the chair to the bathroom. She was like, you know, going to the bathroom and sometimes vomiting and bringing her back to the chair. My back still wasn't hurting, but I had Luke come over to do a practice session for her um, just to see what would happen with that. And he does a practice session for her. She wouldn't let him touch her because he didn't want anybody touching her head. She was like not a happy camper, but he used me as a surrogate, which was even weirder. Um, at the time, like, why are you having me stick my finger in my mouth? And why am I like walking in circles and all the weird stuff came up. But after the treatment, after the body talk practice session, he walks out, you know, just like, well, I hope the benefits kick in soon. She had just fallen asleep and we were both kind of exhausted. But within a few minutes of him leaving, she like sits up bright eyed and bushy tailed in that chair, stands up, walks by herself into the kitchen. And I'm like following her. She opens up the fridge, grabs herself some yogurt, pours it in a bowl, adds some blueberries, sprinkles cinnamon, and she starts eating for the first time in 36 hours and laughing as she's eating. Like, Luke looks so funny when he was tapping on you. I'm like, do you feel better? And she's like, yeah, I was laughing so hard in my mind that I fell asleep. I'm like, oh my gosh. And she finishes eating her food. She runs into the bedroom, gets you know rid of her jammies that she'd been wearing for a couple of days and puts on shorts and tank top and she's she's I'm going outside to play <laughs> I'm like oh my gosh I went out there um our park we had a park we called it our park it was you know a park that was right on the same block as our apartment building like only thing separating it was a sidewalk and a fence she literally climbed the fence jumped over the top and she's playing on the playground and I grabbed my phone to take a picture of her to send to Luke to say thank you and when I got it ready she was already like on the monkey bars like swinging towards me with a big smile on her face I got the picture I sent it to him I'm just like thank you with all these exclamation points and he responds back isn't body talk amazing I'm like looking at that I'm looking at her I'm feeling my back like I don't have any pain I'm like uh yes it is and I invited him immediately the next day there was um our like local homeschooling family network was having a big park day where I knew he would have people to practice on. So I'm like, I told him where and when. I'm like, do you want to come? And he's like, yeah, I'm going to be there. And that day, like, I saw a kid's rash disappear. Literally, like, his mom said it was going on day five, getting worse and worse, even with different topical treatments that she was trying for it. Gone by the end of the park day after he had a practice session. Baby with colic, pretty bad abdominal, you know, pain, a lot of crying. 
fell asleep within minutes of him starting the practice session. Another person he did a session, the practice session on was a woman who had a really bad headache. One of the moms had a really bad headache that was gone within about 20 minutes. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I brought him to the next park day as well. There was another one the following week because he was still visiting town. Saw another range of miracles. Basically, I was sold. I'm like, this is incredible. I still had not had any back pain. In fact, fast forward seven years, I still have not scheduled a single chiropractic appointment since that practice session. <laughs> and I'm not going to say that like every single body talk practice session or even professional session is that miraculous. But I will say that over time, I have not seen anybody who has not benefited tremendously, you know, from body talk treatments. And within a year of that, like magic, the week, I call it the week of magic, I was taking my own, you know, my own class, my, my fundamentals class on my own. Um, out in Rapid City, I traveled the five hours to take a class from Wendy Nelson. And she just did such an amazing job just explaining, you know, the science behind the system, um, you know, assuring all of us that had been there because of miracles we'd received or, or experienced ourselves or, or witnessed like that. Yes, anybody can learn this system. If you've got the left right brain coordination to drive a car to make it to that class, you have the left right brain coordination to do a session. You know, it's a matter of memorizing the map, just like you'd memorize the rules of the road and using the right brain you know aspect to tune into the biofeedback muscle checking to get your answers just like the right brain when you're driving a car you know gauging when there's enough space between vehicles to safely pull into traffic and sure enough by the end of the four days we were all getting our yeses and nos and doing practice sessions and yeah it was so exciting um within a couple of months of that i took this class the body talk access class which is like my sincere passion um this class takes five of the most commonly boned circuits that are, you know, to get, that get muscle checked, you know, in the main body talk system, takes them out, adapts them for self use so that people can learn them in a day without having to memorize the whole chart, without having to, you know, learn the whole biofeedback muscle checking and just do the technique. So you're just repairing those key circuits. And so I took that class and I started using those techniques right away. Oh my gosh, like immediately I noticed that my mood was elevated. And when I did them before my yoga sequence in the morning, because I was still not going to like test not doing my yoga sequence in the morning. Um, oh my gosh, like my range of motion was improved within 30 days of using these techniques. I no longer had to do like even modified poses. Like I could actually, you know, I actually had flexibility. Um, I had more stability, like I had better balance and I could run <laughs> like I had a new lease on life. So yeah, I think I certified was it? It was February of 2013. I got my certification, had plenty of people to practice, do practice sessions on because I'd been shouting body talk from the rooftops for the year before. Um, opened up my practice, coordinated my first access class. And again, like, so yeah, I, it was a great class. I opened up my clinic a couple times the following month for people to get together and do the techniques together. And these people were sharing, like it became a miracle exchange circle. Like everybody's just sharing the miracles that they were getting just using these five techniques. And so I was like, I'm coordinating another class. Like y'all want to have your friends and family take this class? Yes. You know, and so it all kind of just sprouted from there. Um, so yeah. And like I always say that, you know, you know, these things, the body talk, you know, getting body talk sessions or, or using body talk access, it's not like a replacement, you know, for you know, any sort of healthcare system or healthcare modality, but oh my gosh, like as complementary medicine, it's incredible. And this stuff, it's like, you've got, you've got a healthcare toolkit right at your fingertips for the rest of your life. You know, people will use these techniques to mitigate, you know, the side effects of other pharmaceutical, of like pharmaceutical drugs. People will, will use these techniques for their family members who are going through chemotherapy and soften the side effects, you know, of, of those. Um, so many ways, so many, so many ways to benefit, you know, yourself and your family. So this is my passion. Um, since I, yeah, I think I've coordinated this class like 15 times in Sioux Falls, <laughs> um, between 2013 and the time that I moved here to the Eco Village, which is where I'm at in, in Missouri. And there's 12 certified body talk practitioners now in Sioux Falls, um, you know, doing their sessions and they're running their practices and it's super awesome. And my vision is to get these techniques into this kind of section of the country. There's very little body talk happening at all in Missouri right now. Um, and there's nothing in Arkansas, like my neighboring state to the south. So my goal is to get these techniques into the intentional community sector. I live at Dancing Rabbit Eco Village, um, which is a living demonstration project for sustainability. So permaculture design, um, natural building, things like that. A lot of solar panels, wind power going on, um, you know, natural gardening techniques. But get these techniques into the sustainability sector intentional community sector and then all through like yeah Missouri Arkansas Midwest and I'd love to go back to Sioux Falls to teach you know as often as people want me back so thank you for watching this video and I hope it was uh, helpful thank you